maybe going back, I will not make that choice again. <laughs> <laughs> PhD first. Uh, yeah, start PhD. Up later. <laughs> yeah, I, I should do PhD okay, first. Okay, let's then take start. notes. I'm your host Erica, and today we'll be interviewing Mr. Christopher Yeo, the founding CEO of Sentient.io. Hi, Chris. Hi, Erica. How are you? Good. Today's been a good day. Awesome. Are you ready to tell us about your Sentient.io? Yes. Sentient.io was started in 2017, and we believed in creating a cloud platform in which we have many AI models mm. and algorithms that people can just consume from. Software developers can very easily and quickly consume these AI mm -hmm. models through APIs and then they can go ahead and build their AI-enabled applications easily and quickly. We are passionate about accelerating AI adoption among many companies. Mm -hmm. So with that, software developers who do not have AI skill sets or data science skill sets, they can very easily consume our AI models through APIs to create their wonderful AI applications. So Sentient.io has four um, distinct AI disciplines. So we take care of voice technologies, computer vision, mm -hmm. natural language processing and data analytics. Okay. These are the four main disciplines of AI that we're very interested in. Voice technologies involve uh, transcription or generation of human voice. So we do things like speech to text and mm. text to speech. Mm -hmm. Computer vision is the ability to use cameras and to be able to understand what the camera picked up. Right? Natural language processing is all to do with extraction of knowledge from documents. Mm -hmm. And data analytics is the is almost like the catch-all of everything, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm also really curious to know, like, how did it lead up to this, you know? Like, what was your life journey like and then your inspirations for you to just start sentient? So, in my early years, my the first 12 years of my career was in the Republic of Singapore Air Force. I finished that and then I did my PhD at NUS, which okay. I did not complete mm. because I did my first startup at that time. Okay. And I decided to go for my, um, to do my startup instead of my PhD. So ah. unfortunately, that's not a good idea, right? No, Looking back. Why? Yeah. What do you mean? Like no regrets, right? Like now you are yeah, where you're right. at. So you made a good choice. Uh, yes. Yeah. Maybe going back, I will not make that choice again. <laughs> PhD first. Yeah, PhD. Later. Yeah, I, I should do PhD okay, first. Okay, let's then, take so. notes. Yeah. But so here we are. From there, I in between doing two startups, I then joined A Star, in which I was with mm. A Star for a few years. Okay. And after that. Um, I joined SPH as a CTO there mm. and after that then I started Sentient. Oh yes, because I was listening to your story and with every, um, I don't know, journey with a project or like an invention, it always seems like it was a smooth sailing journey but I don't think that's the case, right? Yeah. There has to be some challenges along the way, like what were your challenges? Well, one of the greatest challenges uh, was in getting the technology ready, right? Mm. So in the early days, I actually jump-started by licensing some technologies from A-Star mm. onto my platform. And we used that to kickstart, but after that many years, we have been creating our own models mm -hmm. and running it from the platform. Working in A-Star was a great help because it exposed me to many different kinds of technologies okay. and, and uh, ideas. I'm very happy and grateful to A-Star because they introduced us to our very first customer mm -hmm. in Japan, Nagoya City. So in the next two to three years, what we intend to do is to scale the revenue of our company and we want to expand our geographical footprint. Can you tell us how you see AI panning out in Singapore and globally? I think in Singapore, you will find AI being applied in financial institutions, mm -hmm. in medical, in retail, um, in logistics and manufacturing. All around the world, there are three areas in which AI can really help companies and help people. Right? So for companies, it helps them in reducing costs, increasing mm -hmm. productivity, or opening up new areas of revenue. For people like us, on the, the people in the street, well, it will help us uh, be more effective and productive. What advice do you have for aspiring tech startups? Well, for aspiring technopreneurs, mm -hmm. 
my um, advice to them is always to overcome the technologies, to understand the market and how to get that technology out into the market, to build a good team that can support that work, mm -hmm. and uh, to grow the company outside of Singapore as fast as possible. Awesome, that's really good advice. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for everything, Chris. Thank you for having me here. All right, guys. So once again, this is Mr. Christopher Yeo, the founding CEO of Sentient.io. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.